Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem minimum steps to the destination. The problem says that we will be given an infinite line and initially we are standing at the position 0 and we can either go to the left side or we can go to the right side. The condition is that in the ith move, you can take i steps uh, forward or you can go i steps backward and you have been given a destination d and you have to find the minimum number of steps that you need to take in order to reach the destination. For example, suppose if my d value was 1, uh, sorry, if my d value was 1, then what will happen here is if my d value is suppose 1, then we can say that initially we our i value will be 1. So if you take the sum of the steps, so basically if we take only this step, then we'll be able to reach. So we can say that in one step only we were able to reach the scenario, right? Otherwise, if suppose that we have the d values how much? Let's say our d value is nothing but 2 here. So if my d value is 2, in that case what will happen? Basically, initially my step would be 1, okay? So, if you will see here, if my step is 1, then my total sum of the steps will be 1 here. Then after that, my step will become how much? It will become nothing but 2. The Like, after this, my step value, instead of 1, it will become nothing but 2 here. So, let's write 2 now. Instead of 1, now the step value is 2. So, because uh, every time the steps keeps on increasing. So, now the step is 2. Either I can take 2 steps forward or 2 steps backward. So, if I take 2 steps forward again, then my sum is how much? Uh, the sum is becoming greater than the... Uh, d value sum is becoming greater than the destination now this means that i need to go back okay because if 1 plus 2 is there and it is becoming greater than the destination right so this means that i need to go back but can i go back because uh, this means that i have taken a positive direction whereas i need to go backwards right i need to take uh, i need to go uh, backwards so basically suppose that if i have taken one step forward here and two steps forward here so either of them i need to take in the ne negative direction Suppose if I do minus 1 plus 2, then what will be the sum? The sum will be 1. But did I want to reach the destination 1? No. So this means that I am not able to reach. So basically, if you will see here, the thing is that whenever I am going to reverse, suppose that if, if I had taken a particular, if I have a particular sum and it is becoming greater than my uh, destination. So this means that I need to take one of these steps negatively. Okay, internally, I need to take one of these steps, ne uh, steps negatively. So suppose that if I had 1 plus 2 plus 3, assume this thing. So then the sum will be 6. But if I'm taking one of the steps as negatively, because I want, instead of going in the right direction, I want to go in the left. That is how I will reduce the sum. So if uh, if I do what? If I do 1 minus, uh, minus 2 plus 3, if I do something like this, then you'll be able to observe that now the sum will become how much? It will be nothing but 2. So basically what happened was, if instead of plus sign, if I'm using minus sign, so the, so if I'm taking that step instead of in, uh, instead of taking that step in the right direction, if I'm taking it in the left direction, then, uh, then that what happens is if this is step was the step X, then instead of, uh, instead of uh, this getting added now from the actual sum, uh, two times this, this particular step gets subtracted because six minus two X and X value is how much two. So six minus two is uh, six minus two into two is how much? 6 minus 2 into 2 is nothing but 2. So that's how we reach the step 2. So you can understand that whenever we are going to, whenever we exceed the steps, so we have, we have to make sure that whatever uh, we are going to subtract, okay, that, that should be a multiple of 2. Uh, let me explain this again. So suppose that you wanted to reach the destination D, okay, and you have the current sum. So whenever you are uh, like, then uh, like if you suppose that if you have the destination D minus the sum, so it should always be a multiple, okay? Like basically, you will always subtract a multiple of uh, the x value or the y value, let's say. So let's say if you have d from that, you will subtract two times the y value. Because if you have taken five steps forward, suppose, and you want to write minus five instead of that. So first of all, the five steps forward that you have got, you have to reverse them, okay? And then you have to go five, sec five step, uh, steps backward as well. So that is nothing but minus 10 now. So that's why if you're going uh, y steps uh, back, uh, like, if you are uh, going minus y, like if you are going in the negative direction instead of the positive y, so you have to subtract 2y from the actual sum. So in that case, uh, what you can say is that if you have the current sum, so sum minus 2y would be equal to what? Sum minus 2 times y would be equal to nothing but the destination. Okay, so because whatever, uh, whatever plus y you were taking earlier, now instead of that, you want to take minus y. So plus y is already there. Okay, when you will do minus 2y, then the then instead of this, it will behave as minus y and rest of the elements would remain the same. So instead of going in the positive y direction, you will go, like instead of going positive y steps ahead, you will go negative y steps backward. And that's how you will eventually be able to make your 
some uh, like uh, some equal to d okay so if you will observe this if i change the subject of the formula and what i do is if i do sum minus d okay is equal to 2 times y so this means that 2 into y is even number so the difference should also be even okay this is very much clear if if uh, 2 into y is even then sum minus d should also be even so we can only take a backward step uh, when the sum minus d value is even otherwise you have to keep on increasing your sum and whenever your sum uh, becomes uh, sum minus d becomes even that is when you will stop okay so let's take a sample example suppose if you had the d value as 5 okay then initially what will happen uh, let's say if you wanted to reach 5 then you will say that initially your step value would be 1 and inside your sum you will add 1 directly then next time the step is 2 so you will add 2 then next time the step is 3 so you will add what you will add 3 then next time the step will be 4 okay so basically you are going to add uh, 4 uh, sorry when your uh, this thing becomes uh, your, when your sum becomes uh, 6 so it exceeds now 6 minus 5 is how much sum minus the d value is it even no it is not even so in order to subtract i need an even value so i need to still increase the step so i'll increase the step and now the sum will be plus 4 now the sum is how much uh, so basically 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so the sum becomes uh, 3 uh, like 10 10 minus 5 is what 10 minus 5 is odd so we need to increase it again okay then what will happen here is we will add 5 to it so when we add 5 to it again uh, because the step will become 5 so now we'll say that we'll add 5 now the moment we add 5 then the sum becomes how much the sum becomes nothing but you can say uh, equal to 15 now when you will do 15 minus 5 so it is basically an even number and now we can say that we can take the step backward how basically suppose that if you wanted the sum as uh, 5 only then what can you do you can do it like this you can take minus 1 okay then you can take let's say plus 2 then you can take plus 3 then you can take uh, minus 4 and then you can take plus 5 guys so you can see that you can take minus 1 plus 2 plus 2 uh, plus 3 minus 4 and plus 5 so you have to take this step uh, backwards and this uh, minus 4 step backwards right and rest of the steps will be going in the right direction so the total number of steps that you have taken is how much so the total number of uh, steps that you have taken is uh, nothing but 5 here right because you have taken a step minus 1 then plus 2 then plus 3 then minus 4 and plus 5 so that is why you can say that uh, uh, you can simply say that uh, whatever uh, is the number of steps that you have taken because after this the step value will increase and it will become 6 right but after 5 it will become 6 so whatever steps you have taken you will subtract like you will subtract one from from it and then you will return the, as the answer because you can see that if the step value finally after updating it is 6 so you are returning what you are returning 5 steps so that's why at the end you will return steps minus 1 so let's try and uh, implement this uh, code here and see what can be done here right so we will say that our sum value will initially be 0 okay and then after that uh, we'll also mark the number of steps initially as 0 okay then after this what we will do is we will check that suppose if the target uh, like if the d value that is given to us if it is d 0 okay if the destination itself is 0 then we will say that we will take 0 steps only okay otherwise what we will do is we will say that while the sum is lesser than the d value the destination till that point of time inside the sum you will keep on adding the steps so you will do what you will uh, add the steps here right and then you will do steps plus plus right this is what you are going to do now once that is done then you will say that while uh, the sum minus the uh, while the sum minus the d value modulo 2 if it is not equal to 0 then this means that we need to keep on increasing the steps because we are subtracting with uh, minus 2 times y now correct so that is why we need to take care of this thing so then what will happen uh, sum plus is equal to what we will do sum plus is equal to steps is what we are going to do and then we will uh, do steps plus plus so here also we have to increase the step because we need to increase our sum uh, more because we want the sum minus d the difference to be uh, even if it is not even then you keep on adding and then at the end you can say that whatever steps you have taken you can simply return what steps minus one here okay so i hope you have understood this uh, logic intuition here let's try and submit this and check if it is getting accepted or not so it is working fine on the samples let's try and submit this code to check if it is getting accepted i hope it should get accepted and yes it does get accepted i hope that you have understood this problem clearly Make sure to comment down understood and thank you for watching this video.